Hey, I'm Jonathan, and there's Tumas. And in disc golf, it's very important to be accurate with the angles and the distance, especially with the approaches. Hey, man. So previously on disc golf basics, we've gone through how to throw, how to putt. But yeah. there's a thing in the middle. The approach or the so-called upshot. I think you will say more shots, you know, having a good approach or upshot instead of having just a good putt. Don't mess it up. So I'll, uh, I'll have at it with my approach shot. You have what? There's the almighty Heiser again. The Heiser? Yeah. An old friend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was a common approach for a beginner. And, Very uh, average. Uh, the only thing which is uh, different with a uh, with, uh, approach or upshot instead of uh, just a normal drive is, is that you have to cut it in half. Mm, uh, the distance? No, you mean? the actual you know, pull. As we all could see on your, uh, you were kind of doing the kind of the same thing as a normal drive. Yeah. But then you try to slow it down, mm. uh, which is pretty common. And then you just, ah, it kind of, mm. it, it's Did I make in between sound? shot. When I was young, I was thinking about how can I make a approach shot easy and have some reference, reference points okay. so I can actually, you know, do it over and over and over again. I started thinking about my position in the body, which is one thing. It's just open up the, the front foot a little yeah. bit, open up your hip and then doing the half half pullback and then you can actually you know put in disc on a on a board or board. something stroke uh, it you, you yeah you can brush the board uh, <laughs> and you have complete control over the angle of the disc yeah you can see if you need a slight anheiser or slight heiser or just flat then you just pull your body a little bit back like this mm -hmm. and your shoulder should move like a little bit round but then shouldn't be you know too far back because then you have to you know turn your head you can almost feel like you're pushing the left hand if you're righty like this complete control of the angle and you should have a slight anheiser if you're gonna land it flat you can actually without a huge risk go for the chains even from like distance like this and it will kind of stop like that and try to move you know, your body kind of smooth. Hard you can. Be under the roof a little bit. And then when you're starting, kind of push the disc and have a smooth follow through. That wasn't exactly what I wanted because you kind of ripped it with the disc okay. instead of driving the disc with, with your shoulders. So you're actually pulling the disc with, with the shoulder and elbow and of course the weight shift. Smooth. Nice. So how so how do I know how hard to throw? If you can control a disc and you can actually see for yourself, okay, I'm gonna have this angle and then you can actually release it in an angle. It's easier to actually learn. What about this is a sort of a, a close distance. What happens if there if it's a longer distance? Mosquito? So now we're not using putters. No, that, that's kind of, you know, you have to feel yourself how long you can throw a putter. For you, it's, it would be good to actually, you know, disc up a little bit on a distance like this. What does that mean? You take the a, a slightly fast, yeah, a slightly faster disc, but you can basically go almost like throw with the same kind of motion and you will end up a little bit further. So it's easy to go like from 150, 180, 200 and have kind of the same like motion. And you can also do a slight walk up like this okay and then you will have some extra distance just because of that yeah that's that's pretty good you're getting there it's gonna be i think the fine will be more practice if you like this video please give it some love and if you're new to the channel consider subscribing <laughs>